Assalamu alaikum. How are you, everyone? Uh, I recently got a question on one of the videos, which was about rescaling floors, uh, asking about how to make this customized uh, uh, design uh, floor pattern um, and how to give materials and how to make these uh, like complicated uh, floor patterns on the floor. Uh, so I decided to make this video about this topic. Uh, but first I want to say something and my design here for example I created uh, which was uh, this video okay I created uh, pieces of floors it's exactly the same uh, of creating like a rectangle and uh, a triangle for example next to each other in Revit and giving each one a different material it's exa exactly the same idea but here I have a complex uh, geometric shape that's why it looks a little bit complicated, but it's not complicated at all. Uh, you have many options to, to have this uh, pattern on the floor. You can either uh, give your floor, um, yani you, ha you can have one piece of floor and give it a material, uh, which is uh, a picture. And if you saw my video about materials, the advanced one, you can know how to do it. You can just, um, give your floor and uh, you can get it from the internet for example a pattern you got from the internet or material or you created by your uh, yourself you can apply it to your floor uh, and play with the scale and you can get this pattern or the other option uh, okay first before going to the other option let's try the first option uh, to see how it works okay uh, I will not go, uh, go through details of uh, creating materials because this is uh, should be uh, should be known from that video. Okay, so I'll just do it fast to so, uh, to uh, show you how to do it. Okay. Oh, no, we don't need a wall. We need a floor. Okay, let's create a rectangle. For example, you have this floor. For example, and you want to. Uh, give it a material that's uh, like a pattern, Islamic pattern, for example. Okay, in this folder, I uh, have this one and this one as well. And I want to let's apply this one, for example. It's a wall, but uh, we can apply it to a wall or a floor, it's uh, totally up to you. Okay, go to edit type then edit and do it fast as I said now we want to add this picture as a material but first we need to create a new material because uh, it's a new one so let's give it a name uh, pattern for example okay mm -hmm. now we have this new material we can go here and add our image desktop where is that here? Wall mosaic. And let's say OK. You can also have this bump and so on. But um, okay. actually, here I have it. It's there, the material, but it's uh, so small. That's why it's not visible. I will adjust it. Okay, let's go to edit image and uh, let's have different size. Our image is um, not a square, it's a rectangle as you can see. So we need to may, uh, keep this in mind. So maybe the height will be less. Still small, but I think you got the idea. Maybe our uh, piece of uh, floor is big, that's why. If it's smaller, it will look nicer. As you can see, now we have the pattern on the floor. And as I said, this is the first option you can get an image and make it as a material. 
The second option and the most important and uh, exactly what I did here in my project is to uh, draw it manually or to get it as an AutoCAD or 2D uh, lines of a pattern. Um, and actually here we created our own, own pattern. We started from a um, simple pattern and we developed it. Uh, uh, we started uh, on this file, which was um, an AutoCAD file. Okay, and then we imported inside Revit and we started developing it. We, as you, as you know, I think most of you know that you can draw lines in Revit. So we uh, also added some lines and everything, and then we created, uh, we made it as floor. Okay, let's try this thing now. Uh, now we have this drawing. I, I want to save it in my file. Okay, and then I need to import it inside Revit. Okay. Let's see how it works. I will, oh, sorry, insert and then import CAD. And this is my drawing. Where is it? You see the site? Yes, it's there. Okay, I need to. Okay. Um, we, you can explode it. It's not a lot of lines. You can explode it to work freely and delete the lines that you don't need. Add uh, different lines. Uh, I wanted to work on this to show you because this is more simplified. Okay, now we have 2D lines only. And we need to create, let's say this is a floor. Okay, with this shape. And we want to give it material. Okay, now let's create a floor. Use big lines, for example, mm -hmm. and this one, and this one, for example. I, I will not do the whole thing, I'll just show you the idea. Using a trim now, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, I will duplicate this one. Okay, and let's name it star one. I need to do this because I will give different material to each piece or I mean each part of the piece. Uh, I need to create here also a new material and name it the same name or anything, but it's better to name it the same name, star one, okay? And in this one I can, uh, for example, go to the material library and uh, stone site work I don't know it's up to you flooring for example anything is just select this one for example okay okay Let's close it, make it realistic to see. The thing is so big, so uh, let's alter the scale. Maybe the drawing itself is small, that's why. Okay. Again, I'm going to the uh, image of this material and changing the dimensions. Uh, okay, let's make it 20. I know it's so small, it's not with the right dimensions, but this is just to show the idea. Okay, now you have this, and you can create a new floor. Let's say for this. Uh, one next to it we want to give it different material for example and this one okay uh, 
uh, of course you don't need the same material so you need to do the same step uh, duplicate name it start to okay start to is fine go again to this material and make sure you create a new material because if, if you don't it will have the same material let's name it search okay and go to the material library um, look for where is it flooring let's select this one for example Mm -hmm. let's finish this floor and as you can see now you have uh, two different materials of this shape you can continue giving the whatever you want and like you select where to put this one and where to put that one and that's it for this idea I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you benefit from benefit from this video thank you for watching